first night of the playoffs. The first game, man, <laughs> like the Colts are for real. Okay, sure, I knew they had won, what, nine out of their last ten. But I did not expect them just to kind of beat the Texans into the ground, which is sort of what happened. And meanwhile, here in our second game with the Seahawks and the Cowboys, eh, that one's a little bit on the boring side, isn't it? Is it just me? or I, I don't know. I think that one's a little boring. So far, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Little info to go over before we get started tonight. Feedback automated guys just so you don't ever have to wait on me anytime you leave positive feedback for me you will instantly get positive feedback in return second note there is to say thank you i appreciate you joining me tonight uh bidding breaking chatting with me whatever brings you by uh this evening i am sure glad to see you so thanks for joining me taking a look right now at breaks that are coming up over the course of the next few days this stuff is already up and running on ebay so it's up and available for bidding right now We'll be breaking it over the next five days. And of course, I think probably everybody knows this by now, but just in case, I'm going to leave it up there for a couple more days. Just a reminder that our new start time is at 9.30 Eastern. We're going to leave it that way for a while and see how that rolls for everybody. Tomorrow night, we will open some Onyx Premier Gear. That's a game-used memorabilia. We don't know what it's going to be. Apparently, it can be just about anything from a bat to a glove, jersey, hat, ball, cleats. I mean, apparently, it can be just about anything. It is a player break, so the spots are listed by the player name rather than the team name. And then Leaf Best of Football tomorrow night as well. That's going to be a full case break of it. And I forgot to change this. I looked at this last night, and I forgot to change it, didn't I? The new this year to Leaf Best of Football, ha they apparently have some redemption cards. And the redemption cards are not for one of the buyback cards that would all, of course, be live in the product. It's for other stuff, apparently, like maybe sealed boxes of cards or a rare sealed pack of cards, uh, memorabilia, something like that. So anyway, apparently those are randomly sprinkled throughout the print run so the redemption spot uh, or the redemption possibility has its own bidding spot is the point on monday night we'll open a triple play baseball box that's three autograph memorabilia items an eight box case of playbook football which is the last of the playbook and a 12 box case of contenders basketball which is also the last of that on Tuesday night, we'll open another Leaf Best of Football and a case of Bowman's Best Baseball. Wednesday night, we're going to open some TriStar uh, Hidden Treasure Series 2 autographed mini helmets. That'll be a half case break, and it will be the start of a new case as well. And we'll do Optic again on Wednesday night, but with a twist. We're going to do the first off-the-line Optic. So here's what you need to know about that. It has more hits uh, per box and fewer cards, like drastically fewer cards, as in there's hardly any base cards in there. And there's also more boxes per case. So more boxes in the case, more hits in the box. Uh, if you look at the photograph there in that listing, it'll give you the details of exactly what's inside each of those first off the line optic boxes. Also on Wednesday night, Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball releases on Wednesday. We'll break a case of that too. On Thursday, Premier Gear again, Ultimate Draft again, and we will do some Bowman Draft Jumbo, which will be the back half of the case that we started last night. For tonight, we're opening just one thing. It's a 12-box case of Optic Football. I'm projecting it to be out the door to you no later than Wednesday. I would like to get it out to you sooner than that, but it really, uh, right now, you know, it's iffy. So we're going to leave it for Wednesday, and if I can get it faster than that, of course, you're going to see that when the tracking updates because I print all the labels on eBay. Don't have to worry about consolation cards in this break. Tons of cards in here. Every team's going to pull uh, something and have a package coming their way. 12-box case of 2018 Optic Football. It's a full case break. It's break number five. And, of course, it ended tonight on eBay Saturday night, the 5th of January. You will find our team names are on the left-hand side. Your name is up in lights across from your team on the right-hand side if you're the winning bidder tonight. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be easy. Just one break. Like, I don't know. We usually do so many. It's uh, different to just have the one. 
right now you will notice that the focus is going to change a little bit. Your background is going to go uh, a little bit out of focus, but don't let that worry you. That is just so we can see the cards up nice and close when we take them out here and you'll be able to see those without any problems at all. Okay. Rainbow Six is here. Hi, Rainbow Six. And Greg, Greg, you said the Colts game was boring. <laughs> well, you know what? I, you know, they kind of blew them out. So, um, yeah, it was a little, I mean, blowout's not quite exactly the right word, but yet, I don't know, they thumped them pretty good. Uh, they certainly beat them more so than I thought they would. <laughs> we'll say it like that. Now, this game going on right now between uh, the Seahawks and the Cowboys, that one's, I don't know, it's kind of boring to me because there's not a whole lot of completions going on, you know? I mean, I want to see some, I like to see a little more action than that. But anyway, Ezekiel is here. Resellers Highway is here as well. Reseller, you said you crossed your fingers and your toes, so you are all set. <laughs> Embosh, you are looking for a Josh Allen autograph. Now, see, you say Josh Allen, and I know, of course, you're talking about Josh Allen with the Buffalo Bills, but right away, I think of Josh Allen, uh, the defensive end, who's going to be going in our upcoming draft, probably in the top three. So uh, I'm, I'm automatically, like, thinking that Josh Allen. I had to stop and process that a minute, but you're looking for this year's rookie Josh Allen, our quarterback, right? Yeah. So we'll see how we can do that. Ezekiel, how many cases of contenders football do I have coming? That's an excellent question. Um, I don't know, really. I think around six or eight or something like that. I don't know, really. They'll, uh, they'll call me on, I mean, I do know, sort of. It's like in a spreadsheet somewhere. But as in, have I looked at it in the last little bit to tell you for sure? No. <laughs> but, but I think it's somewhere around six or eight cases. They come, you know, from, I, I work with a few different distributors. So um, I'll have to just look through there and see what they gave me. I mean, I asked for like 12 or 14. I know I didn't get what I asked for, but I think I got Six, seven, eight, something like that. So it will be enough to keep us busy for a while anyway, Ezekiel. Greg, you're looking for the Chiefs in here. All right, we'll see what we can do with that. Wanna Bet is here at your first break with us. Well, welcome, Wanna Bet. And uh, yes, I'm with you. I hope everybody uh, has some good mojo in here. Hopefully, we're going to pull a little fire out of this, we would hope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not the Josh Allen from Kentucky. He's who will be look or who I will be looking for uh, in next year's products if they put him in there. You know how Panini is about putting defensive players in. They're kind of stingy. They always like to give us the offense. They never like to give us the defense. But anyway, all right, kids. Let's uh, start looking at this. We'll go back and open those other packs in a minute because I'm ready to kind of see what we've got in here too. And Donnie's here. Hi, Donnie. How are you? And Resellers Highway, you're looking for the Panthers. All right, so we got to work a little Panthers mojo as well. We're going to find a lot of inserts. The first time that we see them, I'll call out a little bit more information about them as we see them going forward. We probably won't because there are so many. This, of course, is for the Eagles. It's the champ is here. We're going to find uh, a variety of players on those. And those inserts, uh, while they are patterned, they are not numbered. Of course, lots of those little kid reporter inserts. There's uh, an Elite Series. Why is it so dark coming through there? Weird. Um, elite Series, there are rookies. And there are, of course, the veterans that you just saw there. For the most part, those are not going to be numbered or refract. Fans of the game, that one's going to go to, uh, of course, the Redskins. Because that's who Matthew Berry is a fan of, apparently. Once again, not numbered, doesn't refract for the most part. If we came across one that had a variation and did refract or something, then, of course, we would uh, look at it a little more closely. Anytime you see this uh, orange kind of color, that card will be numbered to 199. We have kind of a Carolina blue that will be numbered to 299. The orange is to 199 and more of what I'm going to call the UK blue more of a royal blue are to 149. 
So that Pat Mahomes, for instance, to 299 with that blue color. And there's just a base refractor, which um, refractor and prism guys are the same thing. And I have a, a nasty habit of always calling them refractors because that's what tops refers to them as. And I see them so much more in tops. But when you hear me say refractor, because I'll forget and do that most of the time, it is the same thing as what Panini calls prism. That is number 1099. Anytime you see the red, that's what we'll have. A card to 99. That one was Matt Ryan and the Falcons. Jalen Samuels from a Pittsburgh Steelers with a rated rookie refractor. Purple. These are to 50. That one is Kenyon Drake for the Dolphins. And that's that's how far we got out of the first bunch. But I got, I got anxious. I wanted to look at some cards. I got tired of taking them out of the packs. <laughs> That's what happens. See, I want to see what's in here as much as you guys do. So I take them out in packs for a while out of every box. And I'm like, mm, yeah, can't delay gratification anymore. Must look at cards. So we look at some and then we open some. Donnie, you need some chargers, huh? Okay, we'll see what we can do for the chargers. Jeffrey says, I have a newscaster's voice. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't know. I hear all kinds of things. I've heard airline, you guys in chat, I mean. I have heard airline stewardess. I heard uh, some kind of syndicated radio host named Delilah or something. Um, I forgot what she had, some kind of show, and I forgot what they told me it was called. Uh, broadcaster, newscaster, somebody said weather, weather person once, weather man, weather girl, weather person, weather, whatever they called it. <laughs> I'll take them all. I don't care. Whatever you want to call me is fine with me. As long as it's, you know, not a real bad word. This again, orange numbered to 199. MVP has the pattern. They are not numbered. That one, of course, has Tom Brady on it. My, my arch rival with my, uh, Steelers. A rated rookie once again to $2.99 with that kind of light blue, Carolina blue border. Always going to be to $2.99. The Legends series, those neither refract nor are they numbered. And what else? What else? You saw Josh play in the Citrus Bowl, did you? Okay, yeah, I thought he did well too. It's just a little insert, a little throwback. Um, I forget the year that that is associated with, but it's a throwback to a prior year of Don Russ, that design. Our hit, our hit at last. It's Naheem Hines for the Colt out of our first box. And look at that. We got it on an Elite Series rookie insert, so not too shabby. That does make it a sticker auto, though, guys. Um, since it's on an insert, some in here are going to be stickers. Some in here will be hard signed. And for the most part, I'll try to remember to tell you which is which. You can probably tell when you see them. But in case you can't, you know, we'll go buy it. So, yeah, I would like to see Josh Allen... Of course, I, okay, for those of you who are new here, I went to the University of Kentucky. So, it's where I graduated from. So, I'm a big UK fan. And I always want all my UK guys to do well. No matter what team they're playing on, I always individually want my guys to do well. So, I'm starting with that caveat. So, I'm really hoping that Josh Allen ends up going number one overall. I know everybody says it's going to be Nick Bosa. And, everybody, and it was going to be Nick Bosa from the start of the season. But, think about this. I mean, he got injured. And then he elected after he healed up to forego what little would have been remaining of his season. And prepare himself for the draft instead. So they haven't really seen Nick Bosa in action for a while. Meanwhile, my man Josh Allen has just been playing lights out. And he's going to play in the Senior Bowl. I don't, I'm, I don't know. Is Nick supposed to play in the Senior Bowl? I'm assuming no. Um, I'm assuming he's healed up by now, but I don't know that he's playing in the Senior Bowl. But let's say he doesn't, and Josh does, and Josh just, like, lights it up and then tests out well at the Combine. I could see him unseating him. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he 
who's rising up the board? Fans of the game, James Kahn for the boys. Every once in a while, those fans of the game will be signed. That's uh, Izzo is to 199. We have found some signed, as a matter of fact. MVP, uh, that was Cam Newton. In fact, we found the one of one fans of the game, the chick from the Sopranos um, autograph in one of these cases. To 299, Todd Gurley and the Rams. Andrew, you know, everybody's kind of talking about possibly going number three to the Jets, but I saw a recent update on a mock draft board that had him going number two. But here's my theory. I think the Jets give up that number three pick to the Pittsburgh Steelers to take Antonio Brown. And I think the Steelers end up with Josh Allen at number three. That's my, that's my prediction. Jamison Crowder, Velocity, Redskins to 25. And I just hear everybody screaming right now, oh, they're not going to trade Antonio Brown and you're crazy and nobody would give up the number three pick. You know, I hear all that. I hear it. You guys are just going to type it out as fast and furiously as you can. But that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> that's, that's what I've been telling my, my Rico, my UPS driver is also a Steelers fan. We talk Steelers every day. Dante Pettis, rated rookie, hard signed autograph for the 49ers. That one is not a uh, prism, though. And that's what I keep telling him is going to happen. He keeps telling me I'm full of it. Eh, I might be, but we'll see. Shaquem Griffin to 299, rated rookie Seahawks. A Jimmy G refractor for the 49ers. <laughs> Andrew says as a Jets fan, that's a move they'd pull. <laughs> well, more realistically, guys, it probably, more realistically, would be the Raiders, okay? Because look at how many first-round picks the Raiders are setting on after all the boneheaded moves they've made this year. And goodness knows, they need upgrading at virtually every position at this point. I could easily see the Raiders uh, packaging up one of their extra first-round picks and maybe a late round pick, throwing those two together and taking Antonio Brown. That's that's probably more realistic. But yet, you know, the Jets took Santonio Holmes when he was being a diva. You know, they, they took him. <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll take A.B. I would sure like to have that number three draft pick for my Steelers, I can tell you that. I, this is Dion Kane for the Colts. It is not numbered, but it is uh, basically a case hit. I've never seen more than one of the teal uh, velocity come out in any case that I've opened anyway. So I kind of consider that a case hit, uh, whether or not it officially is, I guess. You said uh, Bell last year, Brown this year. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> they need to trade Tomlin. You're not entirely wrong about that. Rated rookie uh, Prism Mason Rudolph. There's Troy Fumagalli to 299 Broncos. You know, M. Bosch, I just heard that tonight when I was watching the coverage. Um, M. Bosch typed in there, guys, for those of you who might not be logged into chat or can't see it, that Antonio Brown was on The Masked Singer, that new show that came out this week. And I had meant to watch that show and I forgot to watch it or I was working or I forgot to tape it, more likely. And this is for the Steelers. It is AB, numbered to 99 with our red parallel. And so I had purposefully been avoiding all the coverage about it because I thought, you know, I want to go catch that back on demand and see if I like it, if I want to keep watching it or whatever. So tonight when I'm watching... The Cowboys game, the announcer comes on and says, oh, yeah, the mask Singer, you know, America's new favorite show, blah, blah, blah. The usual kind of stuff they say that, like, who cares? And then he goes at the end, and our first singer unmasked this week was Antonio Brown from the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's like, oh, man, like, way to ruin the first show, dude, for the rest of us who haven't had a chance to see it yet, but... Anyway, yeah, apparently he was the first one, you know, voted out or whatever. But we'll see. 
You said you would rather see the Jets trade the third pick to the Raiders than to trade part of what they got from the Raiders for Brown and still have a pick. <laughs> uh, who knows? I mean, I don't know that the Jets would trade for, for Antonio Brown or not. I mean, again, realistically, you would think it would be more likely to be the Raiders simply because of the abundance of first-round picks that they have collected with all of their crazy moves this year. An explosive insert for the Saints. But I don't know. I mean, you certainly can't deny that it would be a nice, um, reliable target for your rookie quarterback. We won't be a rookie next year, but for your young quarterback there in New York, it would be a nice pairing for him. But if he comes in there with that same, um, what's the word I want to use? Disruptive locker room presence. That's not going to do you any favors with a young guy either. So I don't know. Could go either way. Golden Tate. That is to 149. That's the kind of royal blue color that I was talking about earlier. To 99, there's Troy Fumagalli again for the Broncos. Vita Bay Prism for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So it's going to be interesting this offseason, though, with all the coaching changes, and now we've got personnel changes. And Dale, you don't think they're going to trade AB at all? I would disagree with you on that one. I mean, normally, I would have maybe said yes. But I think this, well, first of all, it isn't his first incident. It's like his third. Secondly, the guy wouldn't return a phone call or answer a phone call from the man who owns the team. And I cannot imagine that the Roonies are just going to say, sure, you know, blow us off. Don't take our calls or return our calls while we're paying you you know, 17 plus million dollars a year. Sure, we're okay with that. I don't think they're going to be. And the biggest problem, of course, is chemistry. So when all that happened, I said either Tomlin or Antonio Brown are going to be gone. We'll know pretty soon which one. Then, of course, they didn't, you know, Mike Tomlin held his end of season news conference. And he wasn't on the hot seat. He wasn't let go. And then I thought, okay. And the next thing you know, we're going to be hearing trade talk about AB, and sure enough, there it is. So we'll see. May not come to fruition, but I kind of suspect it will. That's what I'm thinking. It. M. Bosch says you're glad he ruined it for you and not me. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, we've got Juju Smith Schuster. Mike White to two or uh, to two ninety nine rated rookie for the Cowboys, and I'm sure that plays a little bit into it as well. Their willingness to consider trading him, you know, you look at money and age and everything together, and mm, I think he becomes tradable. Mark Walton with one of his smaller signatures, actually, that one is numbered to fifty for the Bengals. Well, Cincinnati getting involved. There is Leonard Fournette to 199. And we have our first downtown coming out of here. Now, some of you are telling me that these, I haven't checked the prices. I keep meaning to and I don't. Some of these downtown are selling for a couple hundred dollars a piece. Is that right? This is Saquon Barkley and the Giants. I mean, I like them. But they're, I mean, reasonably plentiful. We pull out a handful every case. I think we had an early case where we had six or seven. There's a Kalem Balage to 199 rate of rookie. And then we had a few cases where we only had two or three. And then we had another more recent case where we once again had maybe not six or seven, but five or six anyway. So if they're really going for a couple hundred bucks, that's pretty sweet little return on investment. Jamison Crowder, that is to 299 for the Redskins. By the way, if anyone wants any of the codes off those kid reporters, if you've got a child that falls within those age gu guidelines and you want to enter them in that contest, you are welcome to write down 
the code and have at it. I save them up and use them to help me out in shipping, but I don't need the codes. I just need the little physical card itself. Greg, you think the Steelers are going to move on from AB? Oh, and Andrew says he thinks the Jets are better off drafting Josh Allen and then signing uh, Bell and Golden Tate. You know, Le'Veon's been making noises about wanting to play for Indianapolis. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he ends up uh, in Indy, possibly. I think the Steelers are going to um, transition tag him, which would give them the opportunity to match any offers that he gets out on the open market, but I cannot imagine that they would actually do so. I think they're just ready to kind of cut bait and start a, a little mini rebuild, maybe. Not a full-on rebuild, but a, a mini rebuild. Ooh, this is going to have our case hit in it right there. I can tell by feeling it. So I'm going to set it back there in the back. Oh, I know. I'm going to make you wait till the end of the box. So mean, aren't I? I know. Give you something to look forward to, though. And it could, it might not be our case hit, but I'm pretty sure it is. Because they don't really put the, the little block cards in this too much. The ones that are put in there to foil our pack feelers. They don't really use those too much in this product, so I'm pretty sure that is it. Leonard Fournette to 299 Jags. A little Derrick Henry for the Titans. And to 149, that is Demarius Thomas for the Broncos. To 199, Blake Bortles for the Jags. Probably played his last game as a Jag, too, I would imagine. That's what I'm thinking. This is to 149, Malik Jefferson and the Bengals. An MVP, Lawrence Taylor. Devontae Adams and the Green Bay Packers. Kurt Benkert to 199 for the Falcons. Dale said, remember, it's a business. Emotions don't play into the mix. Oh, but they do. Oh, but they absolutely do. <laughs> they absolutely do. There is, There are plenty of owners out there that make their decisions based on emotion rather than business. I mean, or some mix thereof. So, yeah, I, they, they definitely do. And these rich guys, don't tell me they don't ever let their emotions play in. They, they absolutely do. So I, what I said I was going to save this to the last, and then I picked it up. So that's all right. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And it looks like we're going to have to uh, go to random with our case hit tonight. It is numbered to 15, and it's going to be split between Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle. And how about that? And that, you know what, isn't even our case hit because there's no uh, RPA on that. That is just a really nice rookie dual autograph hit between the Patriots and the Browns. So we, in fact, are still going to be due a little RPA along the way. So how about that, kids? A little extra special bonus in there. Kalen Bellage to 299. Tom Brady Elite Series. An Eagles um, champ is here. Hang on now. He was trying to go sideways on me down there. One of those guys getting in the way. Um, Rodney, you are asking about, have there been any Tennessee Titans? As far as numbered cards, that I cannot tell you. I don't do a really good job of keeping up with that. But as far as autographs, no. I don't think we've had any, any uh, Titans out yet. But we're just getting started, really. We, this is only, what, our fourth box? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, fourth box. So we still got a ways to go. Um, you said the Saquon and the Baker downtowns are going for about a hundred. Everything else is going for twenty to sixty. Yeah, that makes more sense. That's that seems more realistic than than the two hundred. But even so, as 
relatively easy as they are to pull out. That's still a pretty good ROI, I think. Mark Andrews and the Ravens, and he's stuck to uh, this one, stuck to DJ Chark. Oh, slight little bit. I don't know. I don't really feel particularly anything on him, so I don't know what that was about, but he was hanging on a little bit. Bo Scarborough rated rookie prism Dallas Cowboys. And that is the end of box number four. So we will see about Rodney. You know what, though? I do um, a recap at the end of the break because I know people, you know, people wander in and out all the time. And sometimes you're just catching up on it. Like if you can't join live, you're watching the recorded version. And if you're like me, you probably fast forward to the end at some point <laughs> just to see, hey, did I hit anything or not? So I do recap all the autograph hits at the end of the break. And I will also recap the downtown inserts at the end of the break as well. Not all the numbered stuff because there's such a vast amount of it. But the autograph stuff, yeah. For sure. But I'm kind of excited about getting in the first off the line case of Optic here in a couple of days. Because I love the product. I just... It's a lot of cards, right? I mean, so <laughs> that is to one ninety nine for the Broncos. So when we get into that first off the line, that's to two ninety nine. Also Broncos to two ninety nine. Oh, guess what? The Broncos. That was a rated rookie, Cortland Sutton. So to get in the first off the line, where you have hardly any cards, but you have more hits and fewer base, etc. I'm kind of digging that. I tried to get more than one case, but I got checked out with the one case, and by the time I got the other case in my cart, before I could get checked out, it sold out on me. Yeah, Ezekiel, I'm looking forward to it also. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, because it'll be fast and furious, but good. Because it'll have... Um, certain parallels that you can only get in that first off-the-line box. And then, of course, some of the stuff is low-numbered as well. So it should be pretty, pretty good. Which, I mean, they charge you more for it, too. So they ought, they ought to give us more content in it, but we'll see how that goes. Normally, I have first off-the-line contenders football for us, but this year, I had it in the cart. I was checking out. It gave me an error message of some sort. And so I had to re-enter my credit card uh, information. And then when I hit check out the second time, I got the error message again, entered it a third time. By the time I entered it the third time, it gave me a sold out message. And that was all within like 90 seconds of the time it went on sale. I was like, are you kidding me? Because last year, you know, I had a lot of first off the line contenders for us last year. Yeah, Ezekiel, it is listed now. Um, yeah, you probably were not logged in yet or uh, on the broadcast yet when I was going over the list of stuff that we're breaking over the next few days. But yeah, that, that first off the line optic is already listed. I think we're breaking it Wednesday night, maybe. Richie James for the 49ers. The orange is to 199. I would have to look to tell you for sure, Ezekiel, which night it is, but I think it's Wednesday night. Joe Flacco and the Ravens. That's a game I'm looking forward to watching. Well, not the Joe Flacco part, the Ravens part. An explosive insert, Stefan Diggs and the Vikings. It's the Lamar Jackson part that I want to see. Kelvin Benjamin. That was red to 99 for the Buffalo Bills. And Jake Weineke for the Vikings. That's to 149 with the royal blue coloring there. Now, see, just as sure as I said, I only find one per case, we find another one. Yeah, see, that happens every time. 
I should say the next time we find a one of one, I should say, oh, we, all, we usually only find one per case and then we'll find like 10. Um, <laughs> so this is for the Packers. It is teal uh, velocity. I think that was a velocity pattern. And again, you know what? This really is the first case where we have found more than one of them. So apparently all it took was me to say, hey, we usually only find one for us to magically find two. We'll probably find 10 now before it's all over with. Ronald Jones the second that is numbered to 50. You got a little red parallel, and that is a hard signed autograph for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This box marks our halfway point, so when we finish this one, we'll be exactly at uh, the 50% mark of this particular case. So I did get a lot of stuff shipped today. So for those of you who are waiting on various breaks, probably many of you saw shipping notices today. And I've got to go in still and update a few things because I did some breaks, you know, consolation cards and things. I've got to go in and note that they shipped with what went today. So you may still see some updates later tonight or tomorrow from that. But we did get a bunch out the door today. I think four or maybe either four or five different breaks went out today. See, that's the beauty of not being able to sleep well at night. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> All that stupid medication they've had me on from getting over this bronchitis or whatever it was. Uh, it, man, it keeps me awake at night. So I've been getting a lot more done anyway. Green for the Lions, Matt Stafford. That should be numbered to five, and indeed it is. And it's also number five of five, so the last in the series to boot. I'm always uh, get a special little thrill out of first in the series and last in the series. I mean, there's no logical reason why I should prefer that. There's no logical reason at all, but yet, kind of I do. <laughs> I don't know why. Same reason we like the ones that match the jersey numbers, I guess. For the Vikings, you have a Mr. Kirk Cousins 225. That is uh, the Black Velocity Parallel. So a few of those. Uh, that's a couple of them, I think, to 25. Devontae Adams to 299 for the Packers. There's Jaleel Scott to 199 Ravens. To 299 Rashad Penny and the Seahawks. Speaking of, if anybody wants to update me on the score, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Hopefully it's changed by now and it's not still 3-3. Three to three, Because that would be a really boring game if it's still 3-3. Three to three. I tell you who looked good tonight for the Colts, Marlon Mack. Like, dang, Marlon Mack was just like a, he was like a Mack truck. He was just rolling over people. <laughs> that, that kid had some really nice runs. I hadn't seen him play uh, recently, I guess, and I didn't really quite realize that he was looking as good as he is. So I thought Marlon Mack a very good game what I saw of it anyway so the score is 10 to 6 Cowboys oh thank you Buckeye and Andrew and Embosh and Ezekiel for updating me on that see if the boys knock out Seattle tonight number to 50 it is Blake Bortle and the Jags Buckeye, how are you, by the way? I don't think you jumped in and said hey earlier, did you? Or maybe you did, and it was, you know, in a busy chat moment, and I didn't see it scroll by there or something. But hi, Buckeye. To 149, Semi Cobbs Jr., Redskins. We have, oh, man, if you're the Giants, how happy are you right now? 
because that is your second Saquon Barkley downtown out of this case. So if those are going for 100 bucks a piece, well, you have two of them. So <laughs> congratulations if you're the Giants. Christian Kirk rated rookie prism. Overall, I think we've been rolling okay with this case. I particularly like the, uh, the Sony Michelle Nick Chubb one that we pulled. So this insert we haven't looked at yet. It's Illusions. That is uh, Todd Gurley for the Rams. That's the first one of those I think that we've pulled out of this particular case. But I'm sure we're going to find more. They are unnumbered. But nonetheless, the Dolphins have a little hit to 125. That is Mike Gesicki, rated rookie, hard signed autograph, headed to Miami. Jay Ajayi. Refractor Prism. See, I caught myself on that one <laughs> for the Eagles. You're watching from the back row. <laughs> Why are you in the back row tonight, Buckeye? Are you feeling shy or sleepy? Or both? Could be either one, I guess. Yeah, I haven't seen Jay Allen either tonight, or I don't think we saw him last night either, but you know what, he was, um, what, what is this, Saturday, Friday, Thursday night, I think it was, uh, he didn't uh, have very good luck in, in what he was trying to hit, and I think he was kind of bummed out about that, so he's probably taken a couple of days to, to regroup, we all have to do that from time to time. Buckeye, you're going to start selling soon. Oh, all right. Sorting cards. Oh, I know that feeling, my friend. I sort cards in my sleep. Like, you know, I'm, I'm forever, ever in a day sorting cards. That's Austin Pro L to 149 for the Buffalo Bills. Sean Lee, 199 Cowboys. And here's a Bradley Chubb downtown for the Broncos. That's a nice little hit, too, by the way. And you don't pull as much Bradley Chubb. I don't in downtown. At least I don't. Of course, again, now that I said that, watch. We'll pull 10 of them right now immediately in a row. <laughs> Rashad Penny, rated rookie, refractor, an Aaron Rodgers insert. And there's another champ is here for the Eagles. Still can't believe they managed to get themselves in the playoffs after how dire their situation looked earlier. I thought we already had our hit out of this box. If we did, we're getting another one, I guess. It's just a 125. It's Dallas Goddard. And didn't we just pull Mike Gesicki out of this box too? Or not? Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. The big thick one makes six, and that makes seven, so I guess not. I guess we hadn't pulled it out of there yet, and I just thought we had. So, huh, there you go. Anyway, the Eagles have a hit with, with Dallas Goddard, and that's what you care about, so. Oh, you did buy those cards from your neighbor? Okay, you, you know, you asked about those. We kind of chatted about those a little bit several weeks ago. And I didn't know that you had decided to buy them. So, you found a few good ones in there. All right, cool. It's just a lot to have to sort through. 50,000. That is a tremendous amount of cards. You going to sell them on eBay? Or put them up on your own website? I know, I still have to get a website built. I really thought I had it taken care of. I swear to you, I did. I had somebody that was supposed to be project managing it for me. They had volunteered to do that. I was all for it. I had the money ready. I was ready to go. I sent all the information they asked for. And then all of a sudden, the people just were like, oh yeah, we're really busy now. We don't have time. Okay. So, yeah. So here I sit again on like year 50 and I still don't have the website up but oh well such is life 
Oh, he came down on the price. Well, that's good. So then you don't have to find very much to make it worth your while if he dealt with you a little bit on the price. So that makes it a little more fun. Aaron Donald and the Rams Prism. That is a Red Von Miller to 99 for the Broncos. This is to 299. Carlos Hyde and the Browns. So you are going to put them on eBay. Okay, cool. You have to let me know when they go up. I'll take a little stroll through them. For the Green Bay Packers, that is numbered to 299. LaShawn McCoy and the Bills. Trey Quinn to 199 for the Redskins. Yeah, meanwhile, I need to sell a whole bunch of Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown cards. <laughs> I actually have a ton of stuff that I need to list and sell, but you all know I hate to list and sell individual cards, so I never do. But in my personal Steelers collection, yeah, I've got AB and... and uh, Le'Veon, I need to just be selling those because I don't think either one of them are ever going to be wearing the black and gold again. Oh, that's cool. You got a Barry Bonds and a, a Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, rookie cards. Well, that's cool. In good shape. I'm assuming. I think you told me the guy was like a dealer or something, right? I think so. Randy's here. Hi, Randy. How are things, Randy? How's that new job working out? It's not that new anymore, though, is it? It's been like, what, probably four or five months now. I lose track of time, but... You found the Steve Yeager... Uh, 73 card with no back printed on it. Oh, that sounds interesting. Sounds like he's got some kind of cool stuff then. Yeah, it's fun to go through stuff like that if you don't have to, you know, if you can just kind of be like good pile, bad pile. You don't have to put too much thought into it. You can just go yes, no, yes, no. It's kind of fun to see what's in there. Like when people buy those storage lockers, you know. Odell Beckham Jr. to 149 for the Giants. Larry Fitzgerald to 199 for the Cardinals. I read something recently about, uh, that's Dylan Cantrell, Prism for the Chargers. About somebody who bought one of those storage lockers and then they found inside of it that is an explosive uh, insert for the Texans and DeAndre Hopkins. They found a big stash of cash in it. This is the Edo Smith uh, to 199 for the Falcons. And there's Matt Ryan Prism also for the Falcons. And I mean a big stash, like $3 million or $4 million, like a lot of money in their storage locker that they bought for, I don't know, next to nothing. So then, of course, to come to find out the person who had let the payment lapse, obviously, I guess they either didn't know or forgot or whatever. So then they panic after it gets sold and track down the people who bought it and... Uh, had a deal with them and I think they gave them like six hundred thousand dollars or something and then the people gave them the rest of the money back I'm thinking dang man you had like three million free and clear <laughs> but I guess the people who owned it first offered them a hundred thousand dollars or something and the people ah nah don't think so and finally when the the original owner I guess upped it to six hundred thousand they said yeah okay sure that's the kind of storage locker, locker I would like to buy. That would be, you know, the way to go, right? <laughs> There's a Shaquem Griffin rated rookie prism. Buckeye, the ones that aren't worth anything, I would just take them. Do you have like a children's hospital around or a Ronald McDonald house or something like that? Just take them there and donate them to that kind of place. Kids, kids love them, especially in a place like that, you know, where they're, they're having some not great experiences experiences anyway that is numbered to 75 marquez valdez scantling for the green bay packers 
So, I mean, that's what I personally uh, would do with it if it were me. But obviously, you know, you could do any number of things with them. But that's what I would do. Jordan Wilkins and the Colts. I don't know why that was faced around the opposite way unless it is perhaps an image variation or a short print or something. So we're going to assume that it possibly is one of those two things and set it aside. If it isn't, well, you just got to sleeve for no reason. Deontay Burnett and the Titans. That was numbered to 299 to 299 for the Bills. Charles Clay. To 99, Christopher Herndon and the Jets. Then we have another downtown. This is our fourth one out of this case. Headed to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for Ronald Jones. Oh, some of those places won't take them in your area? Really? Like the kids' hospitals and Ronald McDonald House and stuff? Wow. I don't know then. Um, I guess, you know, you could always do Goodwill or something, but I always tended to want to to go to, you know, children's charity or children's hospital type places. Uh, I don't know then beyond that. Unless your local community has something. Like, you know, we have a program here where women with children who are getting out of abusive relationships and things, they can go uh, stay uh, in residence at this program until they get themselves sorted out and on their feet and whatever, and they frequently have younger children with them. You know, that type of place is another place. If you have one of those locally, they might take them. I don't know. But I didn't, I, I didn't know that... Uh, some of these other places won't take them anymore. So, huh, I guess it just depends on what, what part you're in. Well, M. Bosch, that's true. He says uh, go to a, a, a card show at the local card shop would be a possibility, too, sure. Just on the commons, I think it's probably hard to move those unless you just, you know, maybe you do a... Here's, if you were to do them like at a, at a swap meet or a card show or something like that, you know those plastic two-piece boxes you can get, storage boxes, and you can get them from holding 25 cards up to holding like 250 cards or something, a couple bucks a piece. Um, you could always fill up one of those boxes and then just let sell it for, you know, five bucks or ten bucks or something and let people have fun searching through it like you're searching through these they might do it that way kind of just like a blind buy here's a box of whatever Royce Freeman to 299 fans of the game Matthew Berry once again for the Redskins and yeah see I put the curse on that saying we found we find one a case this is now our third one in this case <laughs> it's Dylan Cantrell and the Chargers so but that's all right though I mean it's still you know it's still good to have so if we get lots of them then so much the better I suppose to 199 for the Broncos that was Troy Fumagalli insert for Russell Wilson Legend series and an explosive insert for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, whatever, Le'Veon. Go on down the road wherever you're going, buddy. Be interesting to see what he commands on the open market, though. Mike Hughes, refractor for the Vikings. Mainly because he sat out a year. So, you have to think that hurts your market value some. I mean, for sure, he's still going to get paid. Somebody's still going to take him, and they're still going to get him a lot of money. But you really have to think that that's got to hurt your market value a little. I mean... The NFL is a game of what have you done for me lately. So, he hadn't done anything lately because he hadn't played in the whole season. 
Uh, Buckeye, you're asking, is there any market for the sealed bubblegum packs and boxes? You know, I mean, not, it depends on obviously the year, but if you're in the mass marketing time frame, which I think maybe what you're talking about kind of falls within that, not really particularly, but yet somebody would buy it. I don't think you're going to get rich on it or anything, but somebody would buy it. Earl Thomas for the Seahawks. Because, you know, I mean, somebody might give it out as a party favor at a kid's party or just give it to a kid, a younger kid who wants to collect just to get in, give them something to open, that sort of thing. That is the Texans, Deshaun Watson to 199 There's another Rashad Penny um, refractor prism that went by. Ooh, our hit is Sam Darnold and the Jets to 50. Well, 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 how about that, Jets, with Mr. Sam Darnold. I would like to have hit that on the night I didn't get paid for the Jets. <laughs> that might have covered the bill they didn't pay. Josh Norman to 149 for the Redskins. Patrick Peterson Cardinals to 299. Congratulations to the Jets on your nice little Sam Darnold to 50. Yeah, Andrew, I thought that might make you happy huh? with your uh, with your Jets coming out of there tonight with a good one. Buckeye, you're giving some to your nieces and nephews, but you got a lot of them. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, again, that's uh, the suggestion that, that someone made earlier. Um, I think it was M. Bosch that made it, for sure. Trying, like, one of the local card stores or, or a card show or a flea market or a swap meet or something like that. I mean, somebody will give you a little bit of money for it. You're probably not going to get a lot, but you get a little bit for it anyway. Give them out for Halloween, man. <laughs> give out give out packs of cards for Halloween. <laughs> ah, you never know. I was actually talking to my sister today about she reminded me of a Halloween thing when she was first married, her husband, who um, you know, didn't have doesn't have any kids or anything, and she was working late that day, and she told him to, there's a Baker Mayfield base rated rookie, told him to get the candy for the Halloween trick-or-treaters. That's to two ninety nine, and she comes in, to two ninety nine, Doug Baldwin, and asks, you know, where's the candy? Like, trick-or-treating was starting. Kids were, you know, coming down the road kind of thing. Jamison Crowder to one forty nine for the Redskins. And he brings out, like, these cookies. Khalil Mack, that's numbered to 199 for the Browns. Or the Bears. Sorry, the Bears. Um, that he had gotten at some restaurant. But, of course, they're not wrapped or anything. <laughs> he's thinking he's just going to drop these unwrapped cookies into bags. This is Jake Elliott for the Eagles on the campus here. So, of course, she had to inform him that, like, no mother is going to let a kid eat some unwrapped cookie given to them by who knows who thrown into their bag. So they had nothing else in the house that they could find, except he remembered he had some rolls of quarters upstairs. So he runs upstairs. And that's what he gave all the kids that trick-or-treated. A quarter. <laughs> Until he ran out of quarters. So see, I would think the kid would rather have a pack of cards than um, a quarter. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, Andrew, I got you a, a Sam Darnold to five out of uh, Origins. Nice, man. See, we're doing well for you then. Very good. Very good. You know, I've got some Origins that I found this weekend. And it's uh, first off the line, by the way. But it's not a full case. So I have got to... Um, probably I'll just put them in with mixers or something. But 
yeah, we're going to have a few boxes of that that I ran across uh, recently that I didn't realize I had. So. Imagine what the gum tastes like. <laughs> That's the $2.99 for the Vikings. Somebody was in here one night who had chewed that gum. We got into a similar conversation. Ray Ray McLeod to uh, Prism for the Bills. Devontae Boyd, 149 for the Bengals. And our hit is Ray Ray McLeod to 99 for the Bills. And that one is a sticker on it. Not hard sign for Ray Ray there. But whoever it was, and I can't remember who it was, but their kids had, I, if I'm remembering this correctly, their kids had dared them to chew the gum and had said, you know, basically, Dad, if you'll chew this gum out of, you know, whatever, this 20-year-old pack of cards, then they would, I don't remember, clean the house or, you know, some, something like that that, in other words, he thought was a good enough deal to give it a go. This is Earl Thomas and the Seahawks with a prism. So he did. He did chew it. And um, I don't remember exactly the words he used to describe it, but suffice it to say it was not a pleasant or good experience <laughs> chewing that gum from 20-plus-year-old packs. So... <laughs> Want to bet you used to get five pennies taped together from one house on Halloween? Oh, well, see, there you go. At least you knew, you know, what you were going to get. You could probably buy, maybe you said you could still buy some some stuff with it back then. You could probably buy some candy and stuff with it, right? Then that way you could just go get what you wanted instead of whatever kind of random candy that they decided to give you, I guess. But it was a lot different. I mean, I'm just even thinking about growing up like at the holidays. We certainly did not ask for things like iPads and Xboxes and Playstations and Apple Watches and all this kind of stuff. I mean, you know, we would ask for like a doll or a record. You know, some of you are probably so young, you're like, a record? What's a record? <laughs> But that's the kind of stuff we asked for. We didn't ask for things that cost five and six hundred dollars and whatever. So a lot has changed since I was young. For sure. Well, as have these cards, you know. Illusions. Jared Goff and the Rams. We would take them right there with that old, that card with the gum stained back and <laughs> be happy to have it. Ian Thomas, Prism, rated rookie. There's uh, Marquez Valdez, Scantling to 199 for the Green Bay Packers. This is numbered to 50, Cortland Sutton and the Denver Broncos. Khalil Mack again to Hawaii, 299 for the Bears. I kind of went blank there for a minute. Couldn't remember what it was, too. Carlos Hyde to 149 for the Browns. And we haven't seen our RPA. I, wonder, I hope that didn't replace our RPA, the one that I originally thought was our case hit. It could have potentially replaced it. Which, if it did, I mean, it's still a very nice hit, but yet, I'm greedy. I want them both. Buckeye, you said it is 1410 Seahawks are up now. Huh. All right. End of the third. Well, I don't know about that game. I wouldn't be particularly shocked no matter which team wins that. I kind of think the Ravens are going to win tomorrow, though. I kind of think they're going to beat the Chargers. They already beat them once. I think they might beat them again. Everybody else is kind of, I think, leaning towards the Chargers. I'm feeling a little Raven-like. Avante Maddox to 50 for the Eagles. 
have to tell you, I don't remember ever pulling an Avante Maddox autograph out of Optic or Donruss at the early part of the year, but maybe we did. I don't remember it. Jameis Winston. That was a uh, prism for the Bucks, And there you have David Johnson and the Cardinals numbered to 199 to 299 there's Darius Geis for the Redskins you said um oh Janikowski for the Seahawks has pulled his hamstring uh-oh well that's not good because he's uh pretty solid as the as a as a kicker so that's going to change the complexion of things if they can't count on him to put three on the board when they get down in the red zone they're going to have to work a little harder number to 50 for the falcons it's julio jones all right it is last box mojo time let's see if we can pull out some fire Fire, fire. I feel like doing Beavis and Butthead. Fire, fire. <laughs> I know that was a terrible, terrible impersonation, but I don't know. For some reason, it just made me think of Beavis and Butthead right at the moment. <laughs> I know. I digress. I'm medicated. Does that count? <laughs> Does that give me a free pass? Probably not. Probably not. Um, they went for two on their touchdown and made it, and the kickoff was horrible. Where's their backup? They gotta have a backup, uh, to Jankowski, don't they? I mean, good grief. They gotta, you gotta do, uh, I mean, it's good that they went for two, and that, that's helpful, but you can't have kickoffs that are terrible. That's not gonna be helpful. Nor is that going to be good going forward if they do advance, because that's really a long time to heal up, I think. Bo Scarborough to 99 for the Cowboys. The punter is kicking. Okay, well, that makes more sense. And that's probably also why it was really, really bad. <laughs> Russell Wilson for the Seahawks to uh, 299. He does the rugby-style kicks. Okay. Aaron Rodgers to 99 for the Green Bay Packers. That is Jair Alexander Prism Packers. And another for the Eagles. They showed him practicing at halftime and it was bad. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I mean, they came out after after the fact, after the season was over. They've said now that Chris Boswell has, our kicker for the Steelers, has a grade two groin tear, but nobody kind of knows when it happened. I'm assuming it's when we placed him on IR, which was right before the last game of the season. And we signed that uh, little rookie. So I'm assuming it happened right before that, but I do wonder if maybe he drained it earlier in the year, which would account perhaps for some of the horrible kicking that he had this year. And then it just went into a full-on tear at the end of the season. I don't know. Well, I don't feel anything that feels like our RPA, so I do believe that Rookie Duel, um, in fact, did probably take the place of our RPA. Because none of these packs feel like they are uh, thick enough to have an RPA in it, so I think it did officially take the place of. Probably when he fell at Oakland. Who knows, man? I mean, that was terrible up there, wasn't it? A downtown Cam Newton for the Panthers. How about that? Well, Carolina getting a hit right here at the end. Tanner Lee to 50 for the Jags, and that is also a sticker. So maybe not really a lot of fire after all out of here, huh? 
unless we find some amazing something that is not signed. Our last box mojo didn't bring us much mojo. This particular last box did it. Well, I guess unless you're the Jags or the Panthers, and then you're probably feeling, you know, happier. Redskins to 199. There's Quentin Nelson to uh, 299 for the Colts. A James White Prism for the Patriots. So that is the break for tonight, but we have some recapping to do. We don't even have any redemptions tonight. We have a little recapping to do, but we also have a card that's got two teams on it that we need to to find a home for. So that's this handsome fellow here. You have Nick Chubb on the top part of the card, Sony Michelle on the bottom. So you've got Browns and Patriots in play. We're going to go look at the spreadsheet here in a moment. And if the same person does not own both teams, then that card's going to be given out using random.org. Here's the way that works. When they are oriented like this, top to bottom, I'm going to type in the top team first, which would be the Browns, the bottom team second, the Patriots. I will hit random three different times. The first two will not count. Only the third and final random would make the decision. Do it the same way every time. If the card is oriented left to right, it would be typed in left to right, top to bottom, typed in top to bottom. Anytime we have nine or fewer items in a list, then I do random three times. If we were to ever have 10 or more items in a list, I do random only once. So you can kind of count on it being that same way every time. So um, this username <laughs> is poopy356. <laughs> How did I not notice that when I was cutting and pasting? Because I get into a zone and I don't really pay attention always to what they say. That is <laughs> Poopy356 and um, <laughs> Jesse Remarks is uh, the Patriots. So, in fact, we do have two different team owners, which means we are headed to random.org and we're going to roll through it just exactly the way I outlined to you there one second ago. So good luck to both the Browns and the Patriots. Please remember it is only the third one that counts. So you ignore the first one and you also ignore the second one. This one for all the marbles counts. There you will see it was randomized three times. There's our date and time stamp. That is going to the Browns, the Cleveland Browns, taking home uh, our case hit tonight, which is um, this handsome card right here awarded to the Browns using random.org. You know what I'm going to do to remind me so I don't have to go back and watch later? And don't freak out. I did not write on your card. I think everybody would know that I wouldn't write on the card, but just to demonstrate, it's on the sleeve, not the card, okay? So this one headed to the Browns by way of random.org. A downtown Cam Newton for the Panthers. That is to 50 for the Falcons, to 50 for the Broncos. Unnumbered, but it's the teal um, uh, velocity, basically, for the Chargers. That is downtown for the Buccaneers, downtown for the Broncos, a downtown Saquon Barkley. To 50 for the Jags, uh, that is to 50 and velocity for the Vikings, or I'm sorry, that's to 25, that's not to 50, that's to 25 and velocity for the Vikings, my bad, sorry. Matt Stafford and the Lions, that is numbered to 5. There is a velocity uh, teal again. There's another Saquon Barkley downtown. There's another teal, uh, that one for the Colts. And there's velocity to 25 for the Redskins. The rest of our autographs, aside from the case hit that we just uh, looked at already, we have for the Jags, Tanner Lee, Avante Maddox for the Eagles. For the Bills, it's Ray Ray McLeod. For the Jets, you have Sam Darnold, Marquez Valdez Scantling, and the Packers. Dallas Goddard for the Eagles, Mike Gesicki for the Dolphins, Ronald Jones, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mark Walton and the Bengals, Dante Pettis for the 49ers, and last but not least is Naheem Hines on the Elite Series insert for the Colts. 
So that is the break for tonight. What I am going to do right now, for anybody who's interested, I will put spreadsheet information up one more time. We'll take another look at the breaks that are coming up in the days ahead. We'll also take another look at the anticipated shipping date uh, for this product that we just broke tonight. For anybody who might have tuned in late, here is all that information getting ready to hit you in just a second. As soon as I can get it set up. So once again, your anticipated shipping date Wednesday. If I can get it out to you faster than that, I will. I am still trying to play catch up a little bit, guys, because I think many of you know I was sick there for five or six days uh, around Christmas time and just, just getting back on track here in the last 48 hours or so and back up to speed. Coming up in the days ahead, tomorrow night, Onyx Premier Gear Baseball Player Break. Spots listed by player name rather than by team. And a full case of Leaf Best of Football. Redemption cards will have their own bidding spot in that. Monday night is a Hit Parade Triple Play Baseball Box. My last case of playbook. We're going to do another uh, eight-box case there on Monday night. And also my last 12-box case of Contenders Basketball Monday. On Tuesday, we'll do Leaf Best of Football again and Bowman's Best Baseball, both by the full case. Wednesday, we'll do a half case of TriStar Hidden Treasures Autograph Mini Helmets. That'll be the first half of a new case. We will do our Optic First Off the Line is going to be Wednesday night, and that's a full case break. Once again, a different configuration. So if you just, uh, I'm pretty sure it tells you on the picture when you pull up the listing, if you click on the picture, I believe it'll tell you exactly what's in each of those first off the line boxes. But more boxes per case because 14 versus 12, more hits uh, per box in general, I believe. And uh, fewer cards, way fewer cards, you know, like five, six, eight cards or something, you know, not many anyway in the first off the line. Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. It's a Wednesday release. We'll open a case of it on Wednesday to get it started. On Thursday night, more Onyx Premier Gear. Uh, Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball, another case of that. And then we'll do some Bowman Draft Baseball Thursday night as well, which is the back half of the case. So Thursday is all about baseball. All right, guys, that is it for me tonight. Uh, as always, I appreciate you being here, spending part of your evening with me. And I hope that I will see you again soon, if not tomorrow night, then uh, sometime soon. We've always got a lot going on and happy to have you join. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. We'll see you the next time. Bye now.